do. Oil Derek coming to you again. Or for the first time. Or for the third time. Who knows how many times you've watched the videos. Hopefully more than three times. <laughs> Hopefully you hit that subscribe button. You hit that like button. You hit them comments. You hit them reviews. You follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'll be on Tumblr and Flickr and everything else very soon. Blogger. Picasa. Maybe I already have a Picasa. I don't know. I probably do because I have a Google Plus and I have a YouTube. I have an Android phone. So I probably don't have a choice. Excuse me for that second. I had to go and grab my dab rag. I love these things. I got these from Nexus at the Canada's Cup. I don't really like their symbol. I don't know. Probably pretty bad. It looks pretty bad. It's a big old X and a triangle with a capstone. And I'll go into that later. Contact me if you know about that or if you want to learn about that. Just let me know. I'll teach you everything you need to know. Um, so I started doing this new thing where I, I have a shot glass. Well, I usually keep all my pieces in the shot glass like this, you know. But now I added alcohol. You can see it's getting kind of dark. It's been there for over a couple days. I mean, for over a day. I got my dab. I got my pin lid. I got my other dabber. My dab. My dabber. My extra dabber. My pin. A glass nail. And two of the pin tops or the atomizers for the pin. Flip that upside down. Okay. Basically, you just leave them in there. It's freaking awesome. It's great. Works really good. Then you take it out. Take your dab rag. Wipe, 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 just to be safe. Twist. Unless your dabber is shaped differently, and it's gonna be different for more people. This is like the regular point with the two sharp edges, and then like the little scoop on the end. People call it a beaver tail, I guess. It kinda looks like one. <sighs> Today, I'm very excited. I have some butter for you. I think this is gonna be my first butter review that I'm gonna be doing. I haven't had any butter on the show before. I actually haven't even seen butter in over a year, just about. It's pretty funny, actually. The dispensaries I go to don't really have it, and if they do have it, I've pretty much stopped going there. I've basically been shatter only. This is grown by nature's way. It's tangerine crossed with flow, grown by nature's way, here in Colorado Springs, and it's made by 710 Labs. I hope you guys like the little intro I put to the little slideshow. <laughs> it's alive <laughs> but it's real sugary looking it has like a beige greenish yellow kind of color to it but the great thing about this consistency of of stuff is it, it does have butane in it this is the this is gonna have the most butane in it out of everything else but the butane the butane is gonna get hot and evaporate it's gonna vaporize it's probably not gonna be that bad for you I don't necessarily think it is, you know. Butane is one of the cleanest gases that there is. It comes out of the ground, it's natural, it's organic, yada, 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 yada. It smells so good, it has like that. It's like a sweet with like a twang at the end, but not just like a sour, just like, like a sweet funk. That's what it's like, it's like, it's got a hint of pine, but a strong, strong berry, citrusy flavor. A citrus berry overtone, and then like the. It's hard to describe. So. Well, the flow is like a fruity berry, purple, sweet smelling one, and the tangerine is like a sweet, a sweet citrusy. They're both sweet and delicious. Actually, they're two of my favorite strains. I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys can see, but the paper, it's kind of moist right here from where the, the dab was touching right there, the butter. It's kind of see-through, but that's because it had a little butane in it or water or whatever. I think it's butane. No, you can, it's kind of slimy. Yeah, I can just ride on it. Just carve a little etches in it. You probably can't see that right now. But uh, let's dab her up. I got a couple new pieces at the... Uh, well, outside the cannabis cup, in the on my on my walk from where I was parked to the cannabis cup, I walked in, I ran to the store that had a sale because it said it was 420. I ended up getting this little bubbler piece for my girl. It has a little five slit perk in the bottom. It's a bell shaped, you know, with the little 
the neck. It's got the green here, the green here, and it came with the green dome. I really love this dome because it fits so perfect with my titanium nail. I can dunk like it's literally right there. Like it's perfect. I right, get back in there. I'll do. I will very, very well. Will demonstrate how it works with the titanium nail that I took it out of the other piece. I'm gonna get it done most pretty soon. And I also got this piece. Sorry they're dirty, I'll get them clean. I was really excited for the cup. This one has two of the turbine discs. It has one to spin the water, one to spin the smoke. So this thing actually has four perks. One, two, three, four. Well, you could count this as one, so it could be three perks. This is like a pineapple or a grenade. And then it has the disc on top, so where it splashes up and then it hits the turbine. And then through the turbine it spins. And it's also stimulus, as you can tell. I got my swan neck on there just because I want to get the the most flavor out of the dab. And as you guys know, or you might not know, but I have said a few times on my channel and in my videos, uh, smoking is the most ineffective way to medicate. But since we aren't necessarily going to be smoking it, we're going to be vaporizing it we are going to eliminate the harsh health factors associated with that. As I drink my diabetes cola, Dr. Diabetes. But you know what? I'm taking the first step, you know, and admitting that's bad for me, that I don't need it, you know, and I'll eventually will stop. That's how I quit cigarettes, you know. I realized they're bad for me. I realized I didn't even really like them. I realized I didn't even want to smoke them. I just wanted to smoke weed. And I was only smoking them because I couldn't smoke weed all the time. But I can smoke weed all the time now. So, who cares? Alright, I'm going to hit the turbine first. I still haven't named it. I was thinking hand grenade since the uh, the piece in the bottom. And maybe I'm thinking pineapple. Maybe I'm thinking pineapple hand grenade. I'm not sure. Another thing I don't like. Now well, let's just hit it and go from there. This piece, no matter how hard you hit it, you can't splash up to your mouth. For one, there's an extra turbine right here. For one, this turbine spins the water. That has the smoothest, sweetest taste. It's been a long time since I've had butter, but I can't say it tasted bad. It didn't sizzle, it didn't pop. It has an afterburn, you know, like there's a little <laughs> in your throat. And I don't know if that's because how potent it is or how it tastes, I'm not exactly sure. <coughs> I definitely felt it. That's a sativa. Flow is a 50-50 hybrid, and Tangerine is a 70-30 or a 80-20. I could be wrong. I'm not, pretty sure it's a 70-30% hybrid on the sativa side. So it's a sativa dominant. So I'm, I'm guessing it's a sativa dominant since Flow is a hybrid, half and half, 50-50 pretty much. And the Tangerine is a little bit more sativa, I'm guessing it's a sativa dominant. That's what they told me at the dispensary also. They also said it was a sativa dominant, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, also got some Bo Kushno back here, but I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna do a taste test from a back-to-back. -back. <clears throat> the quartz dabber on the quartz swan tip. I just did that, so I know that that was sweet, smooth, delicious, tasteful. A little cough, a little harsh on the end. And now I'm going to taste it with the titanium dabber on the titanium adjustable nail through the bubbler. Really, I guess to be fair though, I need to do it on the same piece. But, I guess that can just be another hit that I can do. <laughs> well, as you can see, I got my Hive shirt on. I'll show you the back in just a second. I got it at the, ca the cannabis cup. Sniper OG. I got those at the cannabis cup. 
pretty sick. All right, here goes a dab, that tangerine flow. Titanium adjustable nail, titanium dabber, the green bubbler piece for my girl. Oh, and I told you guys I was going to show you the back of my shirt. <laughs> That's their logo right there. It's pretty cool. They gave me a big old sticker. And it's not just a sticker, you know, it's a badass decal sticker, you know. That you can stick on the truck, you know, it'll be there forever. You can stick on your motorcycle, put on your four wheeler. Ooh, you know, it looks just like those stickers they put on the gas tanks on the motorcycles. That's what it reminds me of. On the little sport bikes. Alright, let's dab it up, guys. Girls. And everyone tuning in. Everyone in between. Tastes good. Has that strong, like, that strong, that real strong, cushy, like, strong, funky medicine, medicine y taste, you know? Like that, oof, that kick, you know? It has that kick, that real strong, funky kick. But, and you can taste the nail, like I was saying. I wanted to do titanium versus quartz, you know? Of course, quartz wins, it has a better taste, it doesn't have that metal taste. You can taste the metal, just like in the vape pen, you taste the metal in the vape pen. Whenever I use my porcelain pin, the porcelain bowl on my pin, smooth as can be. Whenever I use the regular, you know, the regular tip, yeah, I'll show you what the regular tip looks like. It's basically the same thing, but instead of going through a glass dome, it goes through this plastic coated metal cap. And that kind of alters the flavor just a tad. But, you know. Two inches on, but I do need to get fair and square on it and do a real taste test where I taste it out of the same piece. So here goes the Tange Flow Butter from 710 Labs. I don't know, they didn't say it was wax or anything, so I'm not going to say that they said it was wax. Let me see what the container says Flow Butter. Yeah, it says flow butter. I guess they're just going back to. I guess they're just you know going to go back to how they were doing it before, having a little bit of everything, you know. I'm sure we'll see water hash on the rise again. I went to the dispensary the other day and they told me I could dab water hash. I'm not too, gonna say I was too excited or. Even if I'm down, you know, if they give me some for free, I'll try it, but I'm definitely not just going to buy some. It was it was not a bad deal. It was 25 bucks, but I can get $25 moon rocks, so that's not that great of a deal. I mean, $25 for some stuff that'll get you high, or cool, whatever. But I just bought some moon rocks from Canamans. They didn't even tell me what strain it was, so it was just a mix of all their stuff. Just a whole bunch of trim. It came with a really cool silicone container. But, uh, other than that, tasted really good. Tastes like Sprite. Tasted like this, just about. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to hit it out of that piece. But try again, try again. But anyway, as far as butter goes, that's some great butter. That's a four out of five. Maybe even a four and a half. Definitely a four and a half out of five. I'm not gonna give it a five out of five. Because it has an aftertaste. And it's a little harsh at the end. But uh as far as concentrate goes, that's a that's a three as far as I'm concerned. Because butter, man, get out of here. That is so Like I make concentrate so I know how easy it would be to turn that into shatter. With a vacuum or without. Even if you just heated it. They could heat and whip that and turn that hard into a flake. They just, I don't know, I guess they're getting lazy. I'm not sure, you know. 
I guess, you know, because the recreational stuff, they have so much business coming through, they can't really handle all the demand, so they're making just butter or some stuff. But come on, guys, just, like, the dispenser could buy their own vacuum chamber. I mean, people are buying them and using them in their garage with little bell jars, you know, like a little mason jar. You know what I mean? Like, come on, guys, you know, like, make it in-house, you know? Buy your little machine, buy your butane, and make it in-house. Get your MIPS license. Why not? You know, you're making money off of this stuff. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not in, you know, I'm not, I'm not involved. Hopefully I will be soon, though, when I get my MIP license. You know, I need to get my stuff tested. You know, I need to get my MIP license. And then, then you're going to see Novak on the shelves at the dispensaries. And hopefully I can branch out to California. I can branch out to Washington. All the other states that have medicinal stuff. Because it's... People need to experience quality meds, you know. It don't matter where you live or what your situation is or what your ailment is or even if you have an ailment. You know what, like, marijuana is a preventative, and I've said this before, it prevents Alzheimer's, prevents a few other things too. It slows the growth of cancer cells. Like, come on, guys, you know. Like, literally. Like, vote it, you know. Even if you don't like it, it can still be benefiting other people that do like it. And it could be benefiting you even though you don't like it. So, you mean, you can ask doctors that have studied it. They'll tell you they well, they would take it if they couldn't get high from it. And now they have that ability. With strains such as Harlequin and Charlotte's Web, they have really high levels of CBD, which is the most healing cannabinoid of the plant. And they have very, very low levels of THC. So there you go. Tune in next time for more oil, more oil Derek. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for viewing. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for Facebooking, checking out the Instagram and everything else. I love you guys. Thank you so much. God bless. Take it easy.